Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from OSCON 2013 in Portland, Oregon. I'm here with Lee Heyman. Lee, how you doing? I'm good, thanks. So you're with the executive office of the president, and the president is not the president of O'Reilly or any other company. Mm -hmm. It's the president. Yep. Barack. Our, yep. Yes, That's okay. The, uh, yep, White House. Yep. So, and then in May, you opened up some APIs and released them. So can you talk a little bit about what that was and what the intention was behind that? Uh, so yeah, the idea behind that is that we know through the petition system that we have a lot of uh, a lot of data in there about uh, folks that are you know wanting to engage with the White House, interact with the uh, with the government, um, and that data has value not to us, well yes to us, but also to sort of other folks who want to engage and folks who want to you know really affect change, and so uh, we would get a lot of questions about you know what what they could do with that data, and so we. You know, we put it out there because it, it really helps people sort of shape their strategy for for affecting change and for uh, for advocating for change and so forth. And so, uh, it's been a really positive experience. We've held uh, two hackathons uh, at the White House uh, for people to like work on projects and kind of come up with things they could do. There's a lot of like mapping and data visualization, a lot of um, you know sort of demographic and trending analysis, um, and really sort of just lots of projects to help kind of improve the overall experience and help people affect change. And, um, you know, we're still, we're still on the uptake. There's a, I know there's a WordPress plugin out there that's we're seeing a bit of use. We're getting about, um, not much yet, maybe 20,000 hits a week or so against the APIs, and it's kind of going up each week thereafter. So this is the We the People platform, right? That's correct, yeah. And so um, can you talk a little bit about what the manpower is to do something like that and to open source APIs and to get people involved and the stack that's being used? I mean, can you talk a little bit about what that's all about? Well, the manpower is actually, you know, anyone who's, it's all the thousands of people who've contributed to Linux. and We the people. And we, yeah, and it's we the people. And anyone who's worked on, you know, major open source. So, uh, it's, you know, we run Drupal. It's, it's you know, whitehouse.gov is a Drupal implementation. Uh, we the people is built on Drupal, so so the manpower is really the, the community itself and the folks, you know, contributing to those projects, and um, you know, it takes it's it's not easy just you know in, in any context to sort of take an application, um, especially one that sort of wasn't originally built, sort of. I mean, you hear a lot about this now. It's like APIs for everything, API first, and that's you know makes life a lot easier. And so we all uh, you know we continue to progress in that way, but definitely that wasn't. Uh, you know, part of the original original scope, but we realized almost immediately that we needed to add that. So, um, you know, a project like that takes you know takes time, and it's actually like a, a credit to the folks uh, you know who work within the platform, the engineering team within the White House, which is you know the folks who I oversee, that they really were able to to crank this out in you know in a relatively short amount of time. We had you know uh, a lot of work around getting the code published uh, open source. Uh, back in August, and pretty much right after that, to get this this, this API out, and we took a true, um, you know, agile approach to it, and so we got a beta out as early as we could, got those hackathons going, got it into the hands of the developers, and really, uh, you know, really got feedback as early and often as we could. So you showed kind of a funny video today of uh, Barack Obama saying. Web API or API? What yeah. what what is an API? Does he now know what an API is? We did. We talked. So the the rest of that video is we talked a little bit about about what it means and in some yeah in some. So at a high some, level, he understands. At a high level, yeah, yeah, and he definitely. I mean, he issued an executive order actually uh, back in May. I mean, you've heard a lot of talk about uh, open data, uh, open, um, and uh, he issued an executive order that said. Uh, essentially the default state for all new government technologies, basically anything that gets built new or any sort of major overhaul of an existing system, the default state should be that data should be uh, open and machine readable, available and machine readable in all cases. I mean, it goes into more detail that we're not like releasing private data, and, you know, but you need to sort of, if you don't open it, you need to explain why and you know, there's, there's a whole set of reasons for it. Um, but yeah, I think he gets it, and he gets the value of this, and not just to you know improving the quality of, of engagement and interaction between the citizens and the government, but just also how much of this technology, because it's funded with taxpayer money, is really you know it's really the, the citizen you know owns it, and it's really kind of a credit, and it's something where you know, focused on is actually making as much of that available to, to you know, to the people. So here. words like flexible and transparent and open have been used for quite a while, um, and they haven't typically been associated with government? 
Now all of a sudden it seems like the, the whole mantra behind open source is moving into government. Is that because there's really no choice because it's so complex and big that we need open source to help run this country or? Um, you know, I, I'm not sure on that level. I mean, absolutely, I think, you know, I come from an open source background and so that's definitely sort of like, that's my default state and so, uh, you know, like speaking for myself, I think it just makes sense. I think a big thing, you know, what we talk about with respect to, to open source development and open source technology is, um, you know, I, I'm really kind of much more on the technical operations side than the content side, so I tend to think about things like, you know, how do we how do we move faster, how do we do better, and so this this idea of like reusability and flexibility uh, not only gets us to sort of like put these engagement tools sort of in the hands of the public faster, but also at like a better return on investment for taxpayer dollars because we're not sort of having to reinvent the wheel every time. And so there's a lot of really, uh, you know, uh, that, that's where I take it and that's sort of my opinion. In those. So reinventing the wheel every time, and now, now I'm going to ask you a question that we didn't rehearse okay. or anything or talk about. Um, reinventing the wheel every time, what happens in four years from now if a different party or a different president doesn't have the same view of we the people? Is we the people... Uh, going to survive something like a new president that may have different views? or So that's actually a question I get a lot. That's probably one of the most, you know, Common aside questions. from like when, when's the API going to be ready. Um, you know, again, speaking like my perception of that is that I think um, I talk about APIs a lot and I think that's really the key that, that um, this is a, a essentially a service, you know, being sort of put forth and when folks outside the government, and this is this goes for like all of the open uh, open data concepts and all this, you know, making data available, machine readable. When folks outside the White House, outside the government, start investing their own resources uh, in like uh, building tools and apps and widgets against these APIs and actually engaging with this this open data, uh, these machine readable data sets, that it becomes something that you can't just turn off because yeah. Yeah. people in the private sector have invested their own time it. and, and, and yeah. so it, it becomes yeah. a much harder thing to, to, can't just turn off the spigot at that point. That kind of so. goes around your whole write API idea too. If you have the read and then you have the write, you're creating an ecosystem that's being built around the government data and processes. That's and exactly that. what yeah. we're hoping to do, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Excellent. Thank this you has been much. greatly. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks so much.